I sometimes describe myself as a seeker sharer, um, which feels like quite a comfortable definition. So I, I go on these walks, I do my research, I kind of seek out and find places and find things and play with them and look for potential. And then it's really important to me to share that process and finding the right methods of sharing, which sometimes is in the form of just presenting finished artworks in an exhibition, but sometimes it's much more about bringing people on a journey with me. Um, so physically in this project, it's been great, you know, so the people that have walked with me on the nomadic sporadic walks have included geologist, naturalist, um, archeologist, uh, farmers, so people that have knowledge and that can bring that knowledge to the walks and to the places that we go and that's really exciting. And of course filmmaker also came with them. <laughs> So the project's called Unearthing because the idea is that we're unearthing stories and geology and knowledge and information about Cranbourne Chase. And the purpose is to engage people with it, to bring more people into contact with this amazing space and place. So I'm doing walks, um, which we're calling nomadic sporadic walks. Um, and quite a lot of care and attention went into planning the routes of the walks. Um, so we've chosen to walk along ancient trackways, so the Roman road, the ancient roadways, Shire Act, the ancient Shire boundaries. But we're also trying to take in really interesting places that have quite a lot of uh, significance. So Verndich Lodge, which was the place where allegedly Sir Philip Sidney um, conceived and wrote Arcadia. So with some fantastic willing volunteers, I've been walking these routes and collecting the earths and then coming back to the studio and turning those earths into paints. This is one of my favourite things. These are paint sieving bags. So you just can line whatever you want to sieve things in and then you can just basically massage it. Um, to release, look at that, just to release all that beautiful pigment. And it's actually, physically, it's quite a kind of relaxing thing to do. I guess, you know, it's just you and the earth, really. using a feather because it's the best tool for drawing with these mud pigments um, because they're quite particle rich um, if you try and use a traditional kind of quill or anything like that they very quickly just clog it up um, do you know what most of the time nature has the answers um, as long as we ask the right questions So this project is about reconnecting, find, finding those natural points of connection that so often feel lost. And I think just that wonderful ancient process of making the paint out of what's around us, you know, which is, as we well know, it's what cave people would have done. You know, the earliest paintings were made in that way and sort of somehow turning our backs and rejecting some of the processed technology. I think I was saying to you earlier on, making your own paints is a bit like making your own food. Um, you know there's a depth of connection there there's a there's a love in the process as a kind of meditation through making the paint um which somehow inevitably connects you with that land and with that place and i love the fact that the colors are absolutely of that landscape <laughs> 